Hey, 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 what's up? It's Jason here from the A1 TV Media Group. Hey, have you ever picked up one of these wireless keyboard remotes, put the USB piece in the side, added batteries, turned the box off but couldn't turn it back on? Stick around and I'll show you how to sync your wireless keyboard remote. Okay, welcome back. In this demonstration, what I'm gonna need you to grab are a couple of things. I'm gonna need you to grab the original remote control that came with your TV, okay? I'm gonna need you to grab the remote control that programs the media device. This is the remote control that came in the box with the media device. And I'm gonna need you to grab the wireless keyboard remote control that you purchased as an accessory for the A1 TV media device, okay? So once you get these um, items together, um, also inside of the box, there should have been a USB piece. Every box comes with one, okay? Every box comes with one. You wanna put this into the side of your device. So we're gonna put this into the side of the device and we're gonna put it snugly in. Make sure it's all the way in there. And what you're gonna do is take this right here and connect it to your TV, okay? So you're gonna connect it to your TV and when you get it pulled up, you should see the home screen of the media device, okay? So now we know that this is the remote control that came with the TV, so we'll be programming this one first and we'll be programming it to work with the wireless keyboard remote. The wireless keyboard remote is universal and a smart remote, so it can be programmed to work different functions for any remote control that has an infrared, okay? So first, uh, we're gonna put this to the side because we're gonna use this lastly, okay? So one of the first things we wanna do is um, grab batteries. There should be batteries located right here, okay? You wanna use batteries right there, okay? And there should also be batteries in this remote control right here, okay? What we wanna do is put both of these together, okay? Once we get both of those together in pretty close um, proximity, we're gonna start to program, okay? One of the first things we wanna do is we wanna find the TV button on the wireless keyboard remote. So you wanna find the TV button on the wireless keyboard remote, okay? The TV button is located below the seven and above the red um, icon, a red button on your wireless keyboard remote here, okay? So we're gonna push this and hold it down for five seconds. After five seconds, you'll notice that it will start to blink. Once it starts to blink, now we need to program it. It means that the smart learning has opened up and you can program it for any other remote control with the infrared. So for this demonstration, we're gonna make, um, we're gonna push the power button on the standard remote control that came with your media device. We're gonna push it and you'll notice that it received a signal because your red mark will turn solid red. Now we need to tell it what button we want it to beat the power button. So for our media device, we're gonna turn our media device on and off right here. So we're gonna click this button, hold it down for five seconds, let it up, and you'll notice it start to blink. That means it was successful. Now it's still in learning mode right now. So we wanna program a couple of more features for other remote controls. Now I'm gonna move this remote control out the way. And now I'm gonna grab the remote control that came with my TV. Now, for this, what I wanted to do now is turn off and on my TV. Now, while still in learning mode, I wanna find the button I wanted to program. So I'm gonna push the power button on the remote control that came with my TV and hold it down for five seconds. I'm sorry, I took a little longer than expected, so the smart learning feature turned off automatically. So what I must do is hit the TV feature, hold it down for five seconds, You'll notice the blink. Now I need to tell it what to program. We're gonna hit the green button on our uh, remote control that came with our TV, and you'll see that it turns solid. Now that we got this one turned off on, this one works the box, we can now program these buttons down here. So for this power button, I'm gonna make that one this red one, okay? So I'm gonna hold it down for three seconds. Boom, boom, boom and I'm gonna let it up and you'll notice that it'll start to blink again, okay? It's still in learning mode. That means it was successful. So now this button right here will turn off and on my TV. Now, some of the features that I like to put on as far as my TV is concerned, what I wanna do is I wanna program um, my volume button. So I'm gonna hit the volume up button. 
All right, we see that it was successful. I'm gonna click the green one here to make this my volume up button. We'll notice that it starts to blink so we know it was successful. Now, I'm gonna make this yellow one my volume down button. So I'm gonna hit volume down. We notice that remote control is side and I'm gonna hit the yellow button to make it my volume down button. You'll notice that it will start to blink, okay? So the next button I wanna do is this last button right here, the blue button. I'm gonna make that my, hmm, my input button, my input button on my TV. So I'm gonna hit the input button. You notice that it turns solid. And what we're gonna do is hit the blue button, okay? We see that it, it was successful, so now we can hit the TV button one time and let it come out of the learning mode. Now, this remote control is fully programmed. This will turn on my off and on my device. This will turn off and on my TV. This will turn the volume up. This will turn the volume down. And this one right here, this is my input button, so I can find HDMI, HDM1, HDMI2. So this right here is fully programmed to work with my device. Now, it is not programmed to fully work, fully, um, work your, your TV remote, but it works with your device, okay? So it's fully programmed. This button right here will now turn on and off the TV. This button here, well, I'm sorry, this button here will turn off and on your device. This button here will turn off and on your TV, volume up, volume down, and your input on your main TV. So these buttons right here actually work for your actual TV. So if you ever lose your remote control, you can turn your TV on if you have this from right here. You can turn your box on from right here, but I would also always keep this one handy because this is the main remote control for your A1 TV media device. So if you ever lose this, you can always reprogram it with this remote control. All right, I hope this video has been helpful in programming your wireless keyboard remote. It's real simple. But before we go, let me go over a few features right here, okay? On the back, you have a wireless keyboard remote where you can do all your typing for what you're searching for, okay? When you initially plug the USB piece in, um, you'll notice that the air mouse is on. You want to turn that off right here. This is a cursor that you can move with the wand with your hand on the screen. So you want to turn that off right there. Um, some of the key features that I just used for um, watching media are just the OK button, the menu button, the home button, and the return button. These three buttons right here are my friends, okay? Um, this turns off and on the mouse. At nighttime, when it's dark, you can actually hit the um, light button and you'll notice that it lights up, okay? And when you turn it over, you also have a, a lighter keyboard on the back. So this helps out at night. So it's a lighter keyboard, volume up, volume down. When watching movies, you can pause and play from right here, okay? Um, and that's about it. You can hit the internet from right here and it's pretty simple to work. What I like about this remote control is it's not the remote control that has to um, that you have to point at the box. Okay, but there there is something that you need to know. Now, since we program this remote control to be like this remote control, when turning on the device, you have to point the the um, remote control at the TV. After that, you don't have to point it at the TV anymore. But just turning it off and on, you want to point it at the TV because that's what this remote control did. And we programmed um, this remote control to do what this remote control did. So you must point it at the TV to turn it off and on. And all you just got to hold the OK button down and it'll come on. OK, so that's it right there. And, and there you have it. Everything easy breezy. OK, if your USB piece doesn't um, seem to be um, um, your USB piece that you put inside of the box, if the remote control doesn't seem to be communicating with it, just pull it out the side for a second and plug it right back in. Let it reconnect. It's like restarting it. So if it ever stops to communicate with you, just pull the USB piece out the side, plug it back in, and you should be good to go. Okay. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to help you program the wireless keyboard remote. Um, stay tuned on A1 TV Pro for the latest and greatest going on with all A1 TV media devices. We also have a YouTube page. We're also loaded at the, located at the Spring Valley Swap Meet every Saturday and Sunday, um, booth 455. Um, come on out. We're out there from 8.30 to 1.30. Once again, thank you for your time, and I hope this video has been helpful in showing you how to program the wireless keyboard remote control that comes with the media device. With this right here, you have the world in your hands. Have a beautiful day.